All right, this is our Wild One theme. Get to watch the video and see how we set up. Hey, what's up? Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, so I'm here just setting up, getting all the balloons ready. Uh, my wife and my sister are gonna be here in a little bit. They're gonna be getting everything ready. Let me show you what we kind of got started. Uh, that's a couple of hundred dollars worth of balloons you got there. And if you like the content that we show, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. So that is my sister right there. She's blowing up the balloons. I am double stuffing right there. And so the reason we, we double stuffed all the balloons, except for, I believe, the gray, which was like a fog gray. The reason we double stuffed them was because that's the colors they wanted. They wanted the custom colors. Like that pink is a Qualitex standard pink with the white over it. And it kind of gives it that chalky pink. Beige that we have was actually a Tough Tex blush with white over it and it kind of gives it that um, beige look that we have and then the green was um, I believe a Batalitex pearl green with uh, white over it and it gives it that mint green that they wanted. Double stuffing is it's easy but it's repetitive work and um, it can get tiring especially with the amount of balloons we did this so it's definitely tough and definitely does increase the price if you ever do do this because it's it's a lot more work even just tying them is a little more extra. Hey what's up I'm just gonna show you the matting process uh, all balloons pretty much come glossy but if you leave them out in the sun for maybe about 10-15 minutes that gloss goes away and you get a nice color matte so that's what we're doing right now just letting them matte out for maybe about 10 minutes and take them back inside. Uh, since we're using quality balloons, a lot of them are tough techs. We're really good for outdoors. Uh, they sh there's going to be no problem in the heat. If we set this up outdoors, it mats in like 10 minutes. But we didn't have that option tomorrow. It's going to be in the shade. So we just took them out, let them matted for like 10 minutes. Took hey, them back in. Hey, what's up? Uh, just finished blowing up the balloons. We had to take a little break to finish just a cupcake and getting everything ready. But we're about to put the balloons garden together. So this is what we have. We separate them into the colors we're going to use. Like a beige. Mauve, pink, the green, the gold, all different colors. All right, let's get started. And normally we use a fishing string to tie them all together, but we're going to try a different look and it's better to practice on your own when you're trying a different look. For this one, what, they, what she was trying to do is tie the necks from each of the balloon clusters. So she blew up the balloon clusters uh, in the colors that she wanted and then she would just get a loose neck from one of the other clusters and a loose neck from the other and just tie it all together. So there was no fishing string holding these together. Um, it's just the balloons themselves. We don't like to use those sticky dots. Those are not really good because uh, a lot of times in the weather or anything, sometimes I know people put like the smaller balloons together using those. Those sticky dots, if the wind blows it and they kind of stretch it out, they can actually pop your balloon. We just use the balloon itself. It has uh, plenty of, especially we use quality balloons. They have plenty of elasticity to kind of stretch them out and move them where you want them. And it kind of pulls the balloon garland tighter together than if you did it with a fishing string especially for the length of you're doing because if you do a fishing string and it's 12 feet long you're, you're good you can push it once you start getting to 40 feet you can't really push that those balloons to keep pushing that way so this actually pushes them and pulls them together a lot tighter and you're actually able to get more of an organic look and kind of going different forms so it worked really well you may have one or two balloons that pop out when you're kind of tying them together it's because they're just wrapped around each other but it's easy just to kind of wrap it back together and so this was our first time trying this one and i don't know why i liked it um i don't know how much i trust it we did it with our event but i do like it and I'll, i do like the look it kind of gave us on this one and it went pretty fast since you didn't have to use the fishing string it's just find find a loose neck find a loose neck tie them or wrap them around and that was it so you see from wall to wall when we measured it it was about 40 feet and then we said you know what tomorrow we'll figure out the rest in the morning uh, there was a lot of work in between this. It wasn't just balloon work. We were getting the cakes ready, the cupcakes, the gifts that we were handing out. The, just a lot of stuff going on that we had set up. So we were kind of jumping on the balloons when we had extra time. I don't have an exact time what we were doing because we were jumping around all that day getting everything ready. That is us pulling out the balloon garland. Um, that one right there is 40 feet. Uh, well, a little over 40 feet actually. And um, that's where I tied it into the tree. We used 260s to kind of um, tie it around the tree and um, Kind of pull it in and then we kind of just add more just to wrap it around everything and then i did have some fishing string that we used to kind of tighten it to the corner of the tree but most of the time you wouldn't need it and then all our all once we got the balloon, balloon garland in place and kind of put it where we wanted it we just positioned those clusters wherever they thought they would kind of make the balloon look more organic and um, make it pop out a lot more we definitely wanted to go um, bigger on the clusters at the top of the tree and then kind of randomly organically kind of make it flow going down over the grass backdrop and so to tie an actual balloon garland high in the tree i think i have a 10 foot ladder and an 8 foot ladder there 
uh, we wanted to go higher but what I did and what you can use a lot of times is I just tied fishing string to um, to like a piece of metal a small metal pipe and I threw it over the tree and then all I did was tie it onto one end of the balloon and then all I did I just pulled the fishing string and just pulled the balloon garland all the way up to the branch that I wanted tied it off and then tied it to the balloon garland I did it on both sides on the right and the left side so you'll see the right side too I'm throwing the fishing string over the tree branch and then just pulling the balloon garland up and I can get it as high as we want it and it worked out really great and you can see actually in this video there is the number one that I built and you can also see that in our other videos it's a number one marquee video I built I show you how I make that number one marquee video in my channel I also just recently uploaded a video go check it out it's the how I made those cutouts the giraffe and the elephant uh, really simple build it was an hour and a half um, and then also you'll see one of my videos the wild one neon sign that I show on there this is the one I built it for it's for my daughter and so the neon sign worked out great, lit up everything, everything still works. So there it is, you'll see all the colors we had. I think there was about seven colors that we, six or seven colors. Those are the kind of the matte colors that they wanted. And I think everything came out exactly the way we were going for it. It's her wild one theme, elephant, giraffe. You got the matted balloons. We have, um, it's very organic. I like the flowing that they, that um, we were able to create with this one. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll, and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.